Hey guys, I am Katie Stafford with Supernatural Inc. Paranormal Research and Development. Um, if you have ordered a whoa, Ink Box S, this video is going to show you how to operate your Ink Box S. Uh, this is one of the most easiest boxes uh, that you can operate, okay? Um, one of the functional functionalities that I really like about this box is um, you can read it's it's rechargeable. So in the back, when you receive your box, you'll have your um, cable to recharge, and you plug it in here. And typically, it does come already charged. We charge them, but um, you know, if you let it sit for a while, it obviously it's going to lose its charge. Um, and also, um, I would recommend placing good name brand D batteries in here. And do not charge your Inkbox S with your batteries in them. I would take the batteries out and then charge your um, Inkbox S. Um, it takes roughly 8 to 12 hours to have a complete charge. After that, it would be okay to go ahead and st uh, stick your D batteries back into um, this device. Um, I, I would not advise going out without D batteries in this device, okay? Um, so you have a flashlight, like a backup light on it. Um, I find that functionality very important, um, especially when I'm carrying a whole bunch of things while I'm researching. Uh, this box right here, you know, already has my flashlight, yada, yada, yada. Um, so let's just drop, dive right into your ink box S. So basically um, right here, uh, it says function, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so it has like USB or SD card and radio. So we want it to go on radio. So we're just gonna flip it all the way over to radio, okay? All right. And so right now, this is your volume over here. Let's turn that down. Okay, I turn that down. And this right here is your sweep adjust. Okay. Okay. So put your antenna, you know, when it's FM. So let's adjust our sweep rate. Let's go ahead and turn it all the way. Okay. Now, on the side here, this is your tuning knob, okay? This is for your band selector, right? And you want to keep your needle for your, you know, for um, your radio band. Um, I would just keep it, like, right around one like or in between uh one and zero like in between that dot right there um some of the our boxes we will take out uh the tuning wheel um but for most of them we do not because it is just takes an e extra step for us to get in there unscrew a whole bunch of stuff just to remove that tuning knob so it does your device does come with directions but people still um ask if we can show them how to use this device, which I get it, it's a new device. Um, you will find that this box right here is gonna be your be your <laughs> go-to box, just because it, it, you know, you can hook up headphones, you can hook up an external uh, effects speaker to it. Um, it's a really, really good box. And plus, look, look, you have seven shortwave uh, band selectors on there. So let's go to AM and I'm going to turn the volume up. And you, don't, and you do not need I your my antenna. Sunshine. The one. Oh, my oh sunshine. I could have done steal my That's four pockets full of sunshine. Yeah. You can adjust your uh, sweep, sweep rate, put it in the middle. Hey guys, guess what? There is no wrong or way, wrong, 
right way to adjust your ink boxes. If you want it all the way up, turn it all the way up. Who cares? All right. Um, you will get really comfortable with this box the more and more you use it. Um, I do use my personal spirit boxes um, on a daily basis. If not, I might skip one or two days. I have two special boxes that I use all the time. Um, so that's smart. But anyways, so uh, let's go to shortwave one. So I'm just going to click right down here to shortwave one. And you do need your antenna up for shortwave. It's not necessary, it's just however you, some people like the static, but I like to turn the sweep rate up a little bit. It's very interesting sounds that come through there. So this goes shortwave two. Ooh. I'm actually getting um, stuff in and, um, to a short way. And also, you can use yourself as an uh, antenna as well. I, sometimes I like to do that. I like to, to hold on to the antenna as well. I'm surprised there's stuff coming in through shortwave. Shortwave 2, that's awesome. So let's go to shortwave 3. Oh, let's turn the sweep, sweep rate up a little bit. Okay, let's go to short wave four. Do you guys hear that mechanical sound? That That is what I am listening for. Um, I like that mechanical frequency type sound. Um, you'll understand th the more that you use this particular communication device. Okay, let's go to sweep short wave five. Wave six. And short. What the hell? And this is linear sweep, by the way. I Meaning it's going to. Your uh, bandwidth is going to start sweeping all the way from the top. All the way to the bottom. You see the short wave uh, seven. See short wave seven right there. So right now it's sweeping on this band down here. It's gonna go sweep all the way down and come all the way back up. That's why it's important to keep that uh, band needle right there. Now short wave seven. Had Do we know what you're talking about? Yeah, that was right here. But, um, you know, once you get used to the sound of your box, um, it's always best to record, you know, with your recorder or your video camera or what have you, um, because you might, well, you will miss things um, sometimes that uh, the box you know, this device has actually communicated a direct response to you. You totally missed it. And I hate when that happens. Because then I'm like, I gotta go back to that location. But um, as you can see, I am not communicating right now with this box. I am just doing a demo on it. Um, typically, when I am done using a communication device like this, I like to go ahead and uh, close it out just by saying uh, Mrs. Katie is going to go ahead and close out this communication device. Thank you for communicating with me. God bless you. Goodbye. And I just shut it off and that's it. Boom. That's it. That, that's, that's it. That's all your box needs.
Um, and that's it. So I hope this video is not too long. I might try to make a shorter one. Well, peace out.